This is band for Surf Dome, and we're looking at what wetsuits are made from. Wetsuits are typically made from chloroprene, better known as neoprene. It is a stretchy, synthetic rubber material. The neoprene has been laminated to fabric, normally stretched nylon, to allow it to be stitched together. Now some of the different methods of stitching and sealing a wetsuit are blind stitching, taped, glued, flat locked and heat sealed. Look, if you want more info on those, just Google it. There's a lot to it. But a wetsuit also contains bubbles of nitrogen gas. These bubbles in the neoprene act as a kind of protective shield and help store heat. The inner layer often has heat reflecting material with metal oxide properties. Titanium inner liners are the most popular, though what is marketing, what is science, is perhaps debatable. Now the big question, what happens when you wear in your wetsuit? Does it affect the material? Yes it does. Does it feel good? Yes it does. Make your own mind up guys. Neoprene foam used to be derived from petrochemicals, but these days it usually comes from limestone, which sounds nicer, but still isn't exactly eco. The limestone has to be quarried or dug out of the ground and has to be heated at extremely high temperatures to be turned into neoprene. So it's better than petrochemicals, but far from a clean process. There is an alternative though, and that's natural rubber. The rubber in these Patagonia wetsuits, for example, is Ulex natural rubber. Ulex is just the name of the company Patagonia works with to make it. It's like the brand name for natural rubber, effectively. The rubber tree is tapped from rubber trees grown in an FSC certified plantation. Now one tree produces approximately enough rubber for one wetsuit every day. There's still some synthetic content, but 85% of the rubber foam is natural. People used to say it was a bit stiffer than neoprene, but these days you can barely tell the difference. So you've got the neoprene foam, and then the fabric either side of it. When you hear talk about recycled wetsuits, they're generally talking about this jersey fabric, the lining on the outside and inside, which is only a small percentage of the suit's material. The linings on this wetsuit, for instance, is 100% recycled. But neoprene itself, which accounts for the majority of a neoprene wetsuit, can't be made from fully recycled materials. Now, sometimes they put old rubber ties in the mix, and that all goes into the furnace, but even then, the neoprene will have a maximum recycled content of only 30%. So that's how wetsuits are made. Now they're a pretty tech piece of kit, but absolutely essential. 